What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And in this episode, we are going to see... Well, we're not going to see the end of the Russian Empire. Well, we might do, but we're going to definitely try our hardest to make that happen. We're going to attack uh, this force that's guarding the bridge to the south of Kazan, and we're going to draw in a good chunk of the garrison. So let's fight. This will probably be a river battle, and we will attempt a crossing. We will not hold and make them come to us. We are going to attack them across the river, which means storming over in force. Fortunately, the AI never really deploys to aggressively defend the breach, it, the the, the uh, crossing points. So, yeah, it's not really a massive problem crossing the river. So we're forming a gun line. How it is up front to provide as much support for as long as they can. So let's deploy the bulk of our regular infantry to cross the, cr the ford, because that's the widest point. Then with our marines up front, they're going to lead a brigade of... They're going to lead a brigade of... Come on. Oh, okay, right. My mouse is still being funny. So these two marine units are going to lead a brigade of infantry across the bridge, a cavalry on either side to rush ahead, and Alvin Veer himself is going to cross over at the river. Cross over at the ford. There! Where cavalry on the flank. Oh god, they're coming. Okay, right. They're, co they're coming for us. Let's try it. So you men quick climb the European mercenaries aggressively. Run the hussars across the bridge as well. To be honest, I just don't think they're going to let us. No, they're running as well. Okay, well then. I was, that really wasn't my plan to do a battle like this, but I don't think we're going to get across the bridge in time. Pull back, Marines. Well, you're going to try. I can't call them back, so in which case... Get them across. On this flank... No, Mr. Veer has been attacked by Cossack cavalry. Pull back, Mr. Veer. That's why I have hussars. Marines attack the regiment afoot. Quick climb. Focus on the element, rear elements. Artillery. See, my Marines, your job is to buy time for the rest of my army to cross. So up on this flank, we don't really need to worry about you guys yet. The left flank looks fairly secure as is. So hopefully my marines and all this cavalry... Oh, it's, <laughs> that, that's going to really help us out. Switch our guns to attack ground here, ahead of the enemy line. Because our marines are going to break through... Our marines are going to break through this formation. So deselect my cavalry. My hussars here will pursue the Russians. My hussars are loo you men are facing the wrong direction for some inexplicable reason, as are you. Howitz has laid down a, a carpet of quicklime.
Maintain the advance. We've got them on the ropes. This regiment. You men defend the bridge, which you have so heroically secured. Quicklime's coming in. On attack ground orders? So we need to be careful. We can't entirely abandon. We can't yet pivot or break up our line yet. You men turn around. Guns focus the men that are crossing the river. So our howitzers should secure our front fairly well. And they want to charge a unit in against the cavalry, fall some infantry back. They're running because they know what's going to happen. Run my hussars into the sixth. Again, you guys have stood in the wrong, facing the wrong way. So I've thrown my general in and some infantry that should. I don't know why you've. St no, that way. I'm not sure who that. I don't. Okay, good. You are going to face the right way. Yes, you are. Good. We do need to knock out. Well, you men. These, these troops just have to hold. The reinforcements are coming, I assure you. The question is though, do I? How it's about to fire another volley. If I can. If I, oh, if the, if the right volleys fire at the right units. So, if I take my guns and do something like this... Fall back our line. Fall back our line nearer where our guns can support them and that way when my troops cross the bridge they will hit the enemy in their flank my howitzers can maintain fire support infantry can force the crossing by the time these troops have advanced my gunners will be in position why aren't you guys firing at will damn right there's another this unit of mercenaries behind the 23rd regiment So bring up our light hussars. There we go. So these men are about to face infantry units with artillery support. Yeah, they're having to break away some units to deal with the fact that I'm about to cross. These gunners can fire at will with quick climbing 
and feel pretty happy with themselves as a horse artillery unit that might cause us some concern but hopefully what's the 30th regiment of broken good let's cross over in a bit of a v-shape with my marines acting as the backbone go. Looks like these chaps have got more than they bargained for. So my gunners now fire round shots because now we've we formed up our line and our men are crossing the river. We can advance again. With a much clearer remit the units that were going to form the left hand side of the V can advance and also become part of our line although that might have been a bit of an optimistic offensive position get my cavalry across the river lots of these units are done for but there's only this infantry unit in square at the rear firing square at the rear all my artillery folks on their set of guns let's get Mr. Veer over here as well as my Hussars maintain the advance Come get him, General. These are the guys that are the enemy garrison, after all. These are men it's definitely in our interest to make sure do not see the light of day. Go for the Cossack infantry. You men go for that infantry unit. You men go for them. Artillery cease fire. It's not going to be needed. You might get a handful of Cossacks if you're lucky. You did get them. Let's swing you north. Come on. Attack the 15th. These poor, poor souls. They think they have a chance. Maybe the regiment of foot's gone. The artillery's broken ranks. Charge my cavalry into the 17th. See if you can you guys can kill the 15th regiment of foot. That'd be pretty handy. Okay, let's take you guys and form a real short front line. Hello. There's a unit of Cossacks that has returned. Nope, they too have decided they have had enough. 20 regiments of foot left. You should be able to mop them up rather nicely. Going to continue the battle just because it's a garrison force that's remaining. You may all fire it will off. my general can take out the last eight of those men there 
My general's been knocked out. But my my general's finished fighting. So we will damage. Ooh, actually, they turned away from the edge of the map, so we might kill them. Hurrah! Good stuff, Mr. Veer. That was quite an interesting battle. Oh, God. 4,300 casualties. Demand the surrender of Kazan. Hey, you didn't. You didn't surrender. Continue the siege for now. Just want to see what else is going on. So in two turns, we're going to hit Astrakhan. Actually, I might even direct one of you to push up and hit Ufa. Not that it'll probably be needed. But Mr. Veer is going to replenish and build up his strength, just because we've got a few turns to wait before we can. Knock out the Russians anyway. There's no immediate rush to take Kazan this moment. Everything else in India has been done. Or done as well as it can be. Um, apart from that. Obviously there's no technology. Let's hit end turn. Let's see how the Russians intend to respond to our invasion. Obviously there's no one at Astrakhan either. We're stacking up men everywhere, but we just don't need them. Taking cover. Taking cover. Yeah, that's the one thing I was a bit concerned about, is that now we've pushed away their armies, they might use that as a opportunity to break free and get up to some shenanigans. The Maratha can continue doing what they're doing. But they should not cause us too many problems. Hopefully they gather they gather their strength in a few key cities. Uh auto that. We are triumphant. Persia is a bit of a concern. And you know what, you want to push away my ships? Absolutely. Feel free, although that is a first rate ship of the line. <laughs> yeah. You got us to rout, but you didn't kill us. Blub, 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 blub. <laughs> Sail for the horizon. Vertically downwards. Boom. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Persia's going to continue their push, but I mean, they, these guys carry carrying no troops and they can't really blockade. I mean, sure, they can raid us and do a bit of economic damage there, but they're not going to actually do a lot of meaningful stuff to us. But I think it might be time to reinforce Archangelsk and the northern routes up at Moscow. Comey itself. I mean, you guys might have to stay near Comey just to make sure it doesn't fall. Mr. Veer's replenishing. I mean, I might just give... Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just go and attack that. Why couldn't I attack? Sir. Sorry, sir. Why can't I attack him? Huh. Let's just assume it's not going to cause us any problems. Curtis Patterson, yeah, continue to replenish, then you'll be sent to America. Felix Dodd, your services are no longer required. Neither are your gunners. So Arda Bills, okay, so really the big challenge is down in Nerun, which is to be expected. Let's take Mr. Boyle, advance to the advance up the eastern side of the river. Mr. Croucher, you can siege the city of Eugene. Mr. Charlton, 
Continue your advance up towards Lahore. Although, let's get our spy in there. Just to see what they've got. Nothing. Standard. Mr. Haskett, who is garrisoning at Barabad. You can replenish Mr. Denman. Give you an ambitious order like to attack Kabul. Mr. Sutton. You can take your three cuirassier up to Nagpur. Minus two. Fine, I'll, I'll exempt them from tax. I'm perfectly willing to forget about all these tax exemptions because we're at the stage of the campaign now where we don't really need to worry about stuff like that. But let's do a bit of upgrading anyway. What we want to do is take Mr. Veer's force and attack the garrison here at Kazan. We're going to capture a Russian city. And then we probably might have to attack Eugene afterwards, because either we attack them or they'll attack us. That'll knock them out. Um, and then we can push on and take... Uh, I've forgotten the name of it. <laughs> Don't worry. So let's take our gun line format. Howitzer line format. The mortars are going to be key to take out because even though we've got quite a good army lots of it is depleted so uh, we are going to want to focus their mortars. Oh, they very handily put them out front. So let's continue to more independently deploy our troops. My phone's buzzing. To be honest, we could even have risked a full frontal assault on that position. The mortars are not even firing. So let's allow us the luxury of targeting their infantry. Keep my infantry wide. Yeah, now they're opening up. Get my howitzers attacking these units to the rear that have yet to join the fight. You're going to position to attack that unit of garrison line infantry. You men are going to position to attack the Firelock Arm citizenry that's about to arrive. The gunners are routing. These men have just collapsed. Advance. The firelock arm citizenry are shattered. Got a series of attacks up this main hill, though. The marines can also get involved in this fight. The hussars stay out wide human advance because you can engage the armed citizenry from where you are hey the first regiment has abandoned its position so the second regiment has been destroyed push on up the wall push on up the um, the hill sorry to the first regiment of militia Charge my cavalry in to that unit. Push my infantry up the hill. Get the 31st Regiment afoot. Charge the militia in the rear. You men advance. Up the hill at pace, because they're currently sat behind the wrong side of the wall. Good job, Line Infantry. You've got this. Yeah, my cavalry's job was to harass the armed, the armed citizenry. To prevent them from rebuilding. Foot artillery 
attack ground behind the garrison line because sometimes the guns struggled to actually pick out the target although they didn't that time good shot shattered broken broken I mean these militia have done a good job to hold out as long as they have but I don't think it's going to matter obviously like these guys that are like yeah you guys get them first then we'll come in Soon our cavalry can probably stand to peel off. Because the artillery is going to do the job. Provincial militia is down to less than half strength. Poor souls. Now they're wavering. About time. First Regiment of Militia. There we go. Taking them down. They're shattered. The 6th Regiment has turned around to engage us. All artillery cease fire. Everyone open fire against the 6th Regiment. A point blank range. They've got blown apart. Excellent stuff, I think. Yes, that is. That's Kazan secured. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's repair the Royal Palace, but let's not do anything beyond that. Mr. Veer is replenishing. You men. Actually, you can hit Ufa in two turns. That's quite useful. You take three turns. Your one... Oh, just drive straight into that guy. He's not going to stop you. Astrakhan's about to fall. Um, Tarki is about to fall as well. Marlow, York. Can you leave Georgia? Minus two. It's not bad. You need a, a recruit. One cycle of uh, Dragoons will probably be enough. You men can demand the surrender of Ardabil because there's no garrison here. The siege is lifted. So let's rebuild. Send our spy on to Esfahan. That's caught you on the flop, didn't it? Didn't expect that. <laughs> um, right, so we also want to take Mr. Croucher and attack this... Uh, uh, Maratha army here because we won't be probably they probably won't let us get away with an end turn so let's take out the garrison here Dujane it's heavily heavily depleted so I don't expect um, too many issues here um, ideally after this well <laughs> because I have to recall these all one after another uh, yeah this is potentially quite a significant block of recording because we know how the previous times we've declared war on Russia have really screwed up our uh, campaign so I want to make sure I get it done in one shot so let's take our mercenaries and regular line they can go straight in our Northumberland Fusiliers and Marines can push in on the left skirmishers can push in on the right Skirmishers get the QRC air support. The heavy infantry get the light cavalry support. And my general goes up the centre. Oh wow, they've really deployed far away, huh? Push forward our QRC air because there's a Pindari horseman unit advancing on us. charge my heavies into the Pindari horsemen 
So he's that mortifier. Yeah. Everyone focus on them. Our line try to be in a bit more of a cooperative position. So my Curassier likely were losing slightly because of an initial volley from their light cavalry. Might get all a bunch of my artillery to focus on the lancers. Let my howitzers continue to try and attack the gunners. So you have dervishes, dervishes, desert warriors. Yeah, because the lancers right now aren't a well, they're a bit of a they're a disruptor. They aren't a problem. They're a disruptor because they aren't actually in any. They can't seem to focus on who it is they want to attack, and that means that whatever, wherever they decide to charge, it will be depleted. The dervishes are going to be in here. The unit of light cavalry chased down the unit of dervishes. So our flank is going to be... Our right flank is going to be the area of greatest concern. Keep our howitzers dropping in the centre. Get both these squares out of square. The dervishes have been routed. This unit of dragoons charged the desert warriors. So on the right flank, we've got a unit of heavy cavalry getting isolated. by enemy units. Let's switch to quick climb. This is quick climb time. Knock out some of these dervishes. Get my heavy cavalry back to a safer position behind my line. Get these marines to charge the desert warriors. Get the light cavalry up to threaten the guns. Get these units to advance. The centre isn't at risk yet. Keep charging my cavalry on. You men hit the artillery. You men hit the Pindari horsemen. Marines back up the charge against the horsemen. Yeah, the dervishes are moving against my artillery. So I would like my general to get over here. Guard mode on. Heavy cavalry attack the dervishes. General's bodyguard get over here quickly. Dervish charge in the centre's gone. You've cleaned out all their artillery. You men charge on into that unit of dervishes. General's bodyguard chase down that unit of dervishes. You men pivot. Artillery focus on the armed populace. You're probably going to be enough to knock out that unit of dervishes. Colonial Dragoons are quite depleted. Marines form up to engage that unit of desert warriors. This light cavalry unit can slam into the dervishes with the Colonial Dragoons. Mass collapse on the Maratha front line. Heavy cavalry attack this unit of dervishes still. Should you bring my general back actually he's a bit more useful than that. Charge into the rear of the dervishes. Those dervishes have been cleared out by a light cavalry charge. Garrison Hindu warriors are now entering the field. Well, re-entering the engagement.
So let's stretch out our units into a bit of a better position. I'm not too bothered about charging them exactly. I just want to get my men into a better position to uh, mow them down with artillery fire, which is all round shot based. We have such a mass. There we go. They've, they've shattered as well. That's quite handy. Dervishes are gone here. That was a real blitz, that was. Once we started, we weren't stopping. The inevitable steamroll of the British Army. Excellent, Mr. Croucher. Good job. So you can take the city. Replenish your troops. Rebuild your territory. Let's build one happiness building and a church school. Start to convert the local people over to our religion. Our rake can push up to Srinagar because ultimately there's not a lot else for them to do. Aspirationally, Mr. Hardy, you could move out of a diaper, couldn't you? Minus three. Okay. Send some East India Company troops when I made a bad. Yeah. You'll, ex you'll stand for that. So Mr. Boyle, advance here. You men advance here. Start to bring this cluster of troops under threat. You probably want to go more here. What's your... Well, you need to just, to just move, but fundamentally lots of these areas have infrastructure problems. So you men can drive south, although they could push through the gap, actually, so let's not do that. Could push up here. It is possible to get your men across. Dagestan is still not our enemy yet. Let's hit end turn. Again, our armies are continuing to uh, swing <laughs> eastward, but they're just so many of them are just not necessary anymore. Have we do we not have multi yet? That might be something we've not done. Malta often gets overlooked. Yeah, look. So that Russian unit I couldn't attack. Yeah, they're going to push for Astra uh, for um, Arkhangelsk. But I've got a feeling we should be able to send support over their way. Yes, sir, we are going to intercept you in a river action. Let's do it. <laughs> Mr. Bertie on the river is going to slaughter another Mughal army. Maratha army, I should say. They will not be... Uh, they will not be kicking and screaming for very long. Their army looks incredibly depleted and will fall pretty darn quick. <laughs> Why would I deploy on that side when I can deploy on this side? Silly game. Deploy my guns my howitzers to not focus on any particular threat. The Worcester Regiment and the Hesse Castle, Hesse Castle Grenadiers can defend the bridge. It's just totally not necessary. This is a perfect example of a battle that's just like, look, that's all they've got. I mean, I'm happy to do it because I think it can be ripping good fun tearing through enemy units because look most of their troops are just they're just heavily depleted so my gunners focus on their artillery teams for now my howitzers are gonna oh first unit tried to cross missed it this unit of lances. Only two men are going to return to tell the tale. Unsurprisingly, they're going to say, don't do it. Terrible idea. So let's see who is next. 
to be honest, switch my howitzers to round shot, just because there's no, there is no need to quick climb here. Yeah, 55, 121, 188. Attack the camel nomads. Are they not... Oh, are they going to be... Are they going to do the quote-unquote smart thing and not attack because they know it's not going to do them any good? <gasps> These guys are going to attack. Oh, go on. I'll pretend to fire it well off. Do you know I've done that? No. Okay, so I know we're attacking across both bridges at once. What they want to do... Well, I suppose I better fire it will. I wanted to hold, hold fire. So you need have lances crossing the bridge. Gen their officer's been shot dead. I mean, it's surprising they're still eager. They're only down to 29 men. Oh well, let them come over. This unit of Islamic swordsmen is not going to like what's being proposed. <laughs> Shot down by their own Pindari horsemen at that. They reloaded quite quickly though, that was impressive. Go on, cavalry. Get over here. Yeah, props to you guys for actually making it. <laughs> Poor old grenadiers. They're going to lose a couple of men. There's Union of Islamic Swordsmen on the way. German's bodyguard, come and attack the Shund of Lancers, please. They can't seem to... They don't seem to want to make up their mind about what side they want to retreat from. Retreat... What side of the map they want to run away from. So, I'd rather my... General were involved in that decision. Or at least some of us were. So they would decide not to run around here... Come back from routing and then wipe out all my gunners. So the gun team is idle back here. Make sure we knock it out. But does anyone else get a distinct feeling? A distinct feeling they don't really want to attack because uh, they know what will happen. Oh, it's a unit of Islamic swordsmen crossing the bridge. And the bridge has no protection. So, some bridges have little walls that provide cover when you're trying to cross. This bridge does not. It's a unit of dervishes. Oh god. So they've fallen. Probably. No, that's their general. This is their general right here. I want my field, art my foot artillery to be attacking them. My howitzers, attack whoever you like. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Dervishes are holding strong. No, they've gone. Don't worry. The Islamic swordsmen have these like, little buckle type shields. So they're going to push. Oh, they're wavering. Watch out, regiment of foot. They're coming. Oh no. No, they're not. A unit of dervishes. There's two units of dervishes, a unit of landless rabble. <laughs> so 
So on this side, the Seek Musketeers can't make up their mind. Fairly sure my artillery doesn't want to attack that unit of guns anyway. The unit of landless rabble. I mean, they're probably going to break before they get to the the crossing. By that point, at least this injury, at least this mercenary unit did open fire and get some shots off. Okay, you men, cease fire. Hey, they seem to respond to that. Last time they didn't. Oh no, same again. Curassier get through. 16th Light Horse get through. Demon attack the landless rebel. Light Dragoons get over here and attack the Seek Musketeers. Camels have come back. Curassier across the bridge as well. Ah, they tried to cross the moment I tried to cross, I see. So the Light Dragoons attack the Musketeers. The Curassier get ready to respond to the Camels, although it looks like that's all we're going to really be doing. So let's run my Light Dragoons in to put a volley into the Seek Musketeers. Now I'll soften them up a bit. Look fantastic. There we go. So camels v heavy cavalry. Heavy cavalry should win, especially as we outnumber the enemy. further support from my dragoons although we're going to avoid this action then my heavy cavalry defeat the camel gunners defeat them I said kill them all well not kill them all that's a bit overkill but I wanted my camel my um Dragoons to advance while my cavalry were making ready. Because they are camel nomads, which means they are not ranged units. So my light dragoons can open fire. Although they might focus on the, cu the guns by the look of it. I wanted them to put a volley into the camel nomads. So this... My officer fired his pistol. We get that volley, saw them off. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Hey, did they come back? I think they did. But well, there we go. Good old Bertie's held the river once more and dealt a significant amount of death to a Maratha force. Yeah, raid our ports as much as you like. That's not going to help you, Maratha Confederacy. The end is near. Lahore is about to fall. Oh, I'm not going to intercept you as well. You can raid that sc that church school. <laughs> Just because I do want to uh, progress with my aims to knock out the Russian... <gasps> oh, lots of rebels in Persia. Lots of rebels. You're a bit buggered, aren't you, Persia? Where do you go? Because the rebels are going to come and get you. And I think they might have just beaten the rebels. 
The rebels are coming. Oh, I think oh, the rebels got put down. Persia's joined us in battle, but that's fine. We've got armies on the border. We're sat right here, ready to hit Tarki. We're going to take the region of Chechnya. No problem at all. So it's in. Yeah, so that's annoying. But part of the reason of having a navy that spans the world is that Mr. Sharky Stonehouse, you can leave Norway, climb aboard ship, you can sail to Archangelsk. and stand ready to defend the city against these intruders while at the same time Brian Champion here at Moscow stand ready to respond oh my god Eli Jacob could also okay you can push up and hold the east push the west Brian Champion can hold the east so yeah suddenly that little offensive they want to try and do Looks a bit silly. Okay, so Curtis Patterson. Let's get you to the coast. Let's get you aboard John Bing of Her Majesty's Royal Sovereign. Sail you over to... Or get ready to sail you over to America because you're not going to be needed in the invasion of... Well, the remaining invasion of the East, because Astrakhan. They hide behind women's skirts. What? You, ask too much. you said. Ex you said what? Ready for you said. Okay, good. I was gonna say. Stabby stab. Elias Oldfield. Push up behind Harold Williams, who's going to put uh, the city of Tarki under siege. Oh my god! You can make great progress. Has Comb, is Ufa got fantastic roads for some reason? My god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I don't. So, my working theory is that if it's their last region, they will never demand surrender. But I am just curious. No, okay. Good. Let's attack the Russians at Ufa, and that should draw an end to this potentially uh, campaign-breaking war. The real test will be when I save it at the end of this episode. Will the save game crash or not? That's going to be the test. That's going to be an interesting one. Actually quite a cool looking map. Form an almighty line. Let's take a section of infantry plus, plus some elites to drive up the left flank. Handful of infantry to drive to drive the right, but they're going to mostly be cavalry. Skirmishers will hold the centre. Get the bulk of my cavalry pushing the right. That's going to be a more melee focused front. You men get moving. All my artillery is going to be focusing on that unit of mortars. Well, they've managed to knock out two gun teams at once. Yeah, as per usual, they do not like pikemen. Consistent theme with the AI is pikemen bad. Enemy have enemy mortars have fled. Focus our guns. I mean, yeah, look, they are they're going to fold in into the centre, which 
isn't bad because that's where my pikemen are going to be. So you men push to the right to hold that crossing, to hold that sec street there. You men push up here. Push up just to the back of them. I mean, they can't keep doing this, surely. The 2nd Regiment have routed. The 3rd Regiment are getting picked apart. They've also routed. You men just run right up into their faces. My infantry's got a great position on them. Firing into their rear. And they've got pikemen that's going to Oh my, this is just going to be slaughter. Pikemen from the front, two units of heavy cavalry from behind, push my infantry up towards the centre. Make sure each unit is targeting a different unit. Bayonet charge the militia because you're going to run into them anyway. Oh my god. When the enemy's morale is weak, it just collapses. So my Swiss pikes go for the garrison line first. All my artillery cease firing. Sharpshooters don't engage. Right, let's see if we can lure this unit out of their little gap here. See if we can shatter the firelock arm citizenry. I don't need to do that. We can just turn on fire at will for my sharpshooters. They'll engage the armed citizenry. So that garrison line unit is surrounded. Both these units advance with the bayonet. <laughs> they're very unhappy with the they're very unhappy with the uh, bayonet charge as is. But let's make these men form up. Make my heavy cavalry charge the militia because they might break anyway. The militia are broken. I knew those guys would come back. Just charge the cavalry down the hill. Try get one shot from my artillery. No, they're way we're already way too close. You've hit the militia. Keep charging. Fundamentally, there's no point not just charging. They've all broken, so it really is just this unit of militia left against the unit of heavy cavalry. Which I don't think will be necessary. Sharpshooters cease fire. It's surprising. Yeah, okay, there we go. I was about to say it. Surprisingly, they weren't wavering already. But there we go. The commander of the enemy forces was not killed. However, that is the end of the Russian Empire. Phew. Nice one. <laughs> That's really, really cool. So, Blam. Ufa is taken. You no longer have any units around here to attack. So let's just bring you armies back. New town emerges, Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. That's what we're going to do. Hillary Stanley. Actually, no, you're not going to do that. 
push up into the Black Hills people's um, positions or territories. Roland Nordell, you've been standing here, a very, very stoic soldier. You're at the age of 67. But now, finally, the end is here for the Pueblo nations. <laughs> Declare war. Oh, ooh, that could be a bit dodgy, actually. Oh, it's this army that's intercepted us. Oof, this could go really badly wrong. Blinking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for potentially something to go spectacularly badly wrong. See you, everyone.